This episode of Linus Tech Tips is going to be about the special ASUS features, ASUS special features rather, on the TS Mini Windows Home Server. So why don't we start with ASWM, so ASUS System Web-Based Management Software, so cleverly named. So it's an interface that allows you to conveniently manage your home server status via Windows Home Server Console. So let's go into that over here, ASWM. So this is just a Windows Home Server plugin. There are actually tons available on uh, www.wegotserved.co.uk but these are some custom ones that ASUS has included with their TS Mini. So the first one here is you can monitor your system fans. There are two fans in the TS Mini. They are both working. Excellent. You can monitor your motherboard temperatures. You can monitor your cat. Go away cat. All right, you can monitor your CPU temperature. Right now it's running at 50 degrees, which is perfectly safe. You can monitor your disks as well as your drives. I'm not sure what the difference between disks and drives is. Maybe we'll find out. They look the same. You can monitor your network connection. So here it is showing me how much of my network is being used right now. Actually, ooh, here's something we could do. Why don't we uh, just go like this, shared folders, and let's see what happens if I actually copy a folder into videos, for example. Network utilization should go up, and it looks like it doesn't refresh all that often. That's okay. Memory utilization, this has one gig of memory. So it shows me how much of that is being used, how much page file is used, and CPU. Overall CPU utilization, and breaks it down by core. It is a dual core atom. So inventory, there's a lot more stuff here that I can also go into if I feel like it, and configuration. Oh, event configuration. Hmm, event configuration. Let's have a look. Ooh, even BIOS flashes in here. There's all kinds of good stuff here. So you can have it notify you in the event. Uh, oh, okay, so you can set it so things like motherboard fans, uh, when it goes below a certain level, that's an event, I believe. So let me see. Yep, yeah. so here's the, the, the low monitor. Here's high-low. So critical thresholds are uh, 600. Okay, cool. And so, yeah, you can set it so it'll send you an email or it'll send you... Um, what else can it send you? Neat. Well, looks like a pretty neat piece of software. Let's move on to the next one. ASUS Web Storage. So ASUS Web Storage allows you to enjoy one year free online space and back up your files to your home server with an internet connection. You can access and share any files whenever you want and wherever you are. Okay, well, Windows Home Server allows you to do a whole lot of web storage on your own, but I'm sure that there is a value to this. I'm not going to bother setting it up for now, but that is one of the features that ASUS does include. This one, I saved the best for last. This one has all kinds of cool stuff in here. So my, my personal favorite one is the Backup tab. So this allows you to take your external storage source. In this case, it's my USB flash drive. You can select any folders that you want. You select a home server destination folder, and then you click Backup. Boom. So you throw that in one of your duplicated folders. So you have a quick, easy way to plug something into your home server, back it up, and have it duplicated. You don't worry about it anymore. Very cool. File Manager. Okay, this one I'm not quite as certain about, so you can copy, delete, edit the files and folders between external storage devices in your home server. So this would be a way to manually copy, edit, and delete. Um, this one has a little bit less usefulness to me because you do always have the option of using remote desktop connection to access your home server. Um, if you don't know how to do that, it's quite simple. You just go to Remote Desktop Connection, type in the name of your home server, and then you can actually do stuff like this on your own from there. So you're not technically supposed to use Remote Desktop Connection uh, to access the home server. They don't recommend it. A big warning is going to come up and tell me not to do it. But you can always just go into shared folders on home server, go into my computer. I mean, it's just a computer, right? So. Uh, from there, I can access my uh, my flash drive. So this one is not uh, not a huge one, but synchronization is great too because uh, synchronization allows you to just same thing. You automatically synchronize. Except this one, instead of backing up only from the external device into the home server, is actually able to go either way. So for us, let's say a document you've been working on at home and at work. If you're storing one copy on your USB drive and one copy on your home server at home, you can set it so that it will 
just synchronize and it'll update to the latest version of the file. So that's a very cool feature as well. So ASUS has included a pretty neat little software suite in addition to all the stuff that's already included with Windows Home Server. And thank you for checking out my episode on the exclusive ASUS software with the TS Mini.